Embrace the Strange, Today's Illusion is most, most likely the first of a series, a sub-series from Hyde. Kneeling, the figure's body cracks open, split the arms fall, pulling the body further apart and down. The arms dangle stiffly from the wilting stem-like neck. Red petals with blue pupils gaze out while purple orbs rise into the air from the broken body, matching the purple orbs in the figure's chest. While the image to me conveys a visceral shift, it is bubbly with potential. It's experimental in a scientific sort of way. Curious, taking itself apart to put itself back together. Better improved. More improved. I also think the contrast of the warmth of the internal body and the exterior body further conveys that. It's internally driven internally working, introspected, yet contained with, like, the cool exterior. A random thought. (laughs) It will make sense if you follow along. Um, Vincent Go, in a book I read, he was actually, um, his parents' second son named Vincent because the first died in infancy, and they opted to reuse the name. And a similar thing happened with Salvador Dali. Both were aware of this fact, but it really impacted them differently. It oddly reminded me of a story that my sister told me about a boy who was brought into a job for counseling. He had a breakdown because he found out he was a twin, but for one reason or another, the other sibling, I believe she said it was a brother, or something died in the womb or whatever. He didn't, it didn't make it out, and it affirmed this strange feeling that he had within himself of like a defect or like something lacking, and he broke down because he thought something was always missing and then he learned you know and I don't know he was like under 10 maybe I don't know remember he was like young you know youngish but in the two digits I thought um but he always felt something was missing Ugh, something was missing and when he learned that he was like oh that's it and you know there are other people that live and have that same experience but they aren't bothered by it it's just like oh fun fact and it might have been that for him maybe if he knew it sooner at least I think so um but learning it now was really traumatic to him because I guess he's Catholic, and I think Catholics don't believe in life after death, so to him it just felt like a part of him was gone forever, and he felt only in death could he feel complete again, so they were worried about him, you know, being a danger to himself. Anyway, coming off the picture of Dorian Gray, I could say that it sort of reminded me of an example of life imitating art because of my own book that I wrote, Death with Pleasure, and the sequel to it where I kind of, uh, explore the twin soul idea in the Egyptian second death. The destruction of the soul concept is crucial to the plot, but I'm still undecided about that book, and to connect the two is sort of a tricky thing. Anyway, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.